Welcome back guys. In my last video, I covered IMS architecture. In this video, we will understand how data flow takes place during various kinds of voltage calls. You should have at least a rough idea of uh, IMS architecture to get maximum out of this video. If you are not much clear about IMS architecture, I would strongly recommend you to first go through my video on IMS architecture and then come back to this video. What are the various kinds of voltage calls you can think of? Let me write down the list. Number one, voltage to voltage call in the same network. In this case, called party is voltage enabled and belongs to the same operator. Number two, voltage to voltage call to some other network. In this case, called party is voltage enabled but belongs to some other operator. Voltage to CS domain. In this case, called party is present in CS domain. And the last one, when UE making the voltage call is present in the roaming network. Let's move on and discuss each case one by one. Voltage to voltage call in the same network. This is the easiest scenario one can think of. In this case, both UEs are connected to the same LT network. For the purpose of understanding, let's assume both mobiles are connected to the same PDN gateway. In this case, data from UE1 will go to PDN gateway and from PDN gateway, it will go to UE2. Both UEs will talk to same IMS network for voltage call setup. Main thing to notice here is that IMS network will be used only for SIP signaling. For user plane, it is non mandatory to bring IMS network into picture. Number two, voltage to voltage call to some other network. Let's first talk about the signaling part. In this case, SCSCF will determine that the called party is not within this IMS network and forward this SIP invite to the relevant IBCF. IBCF present in the source IMS network will forward this SIP invite to the IBCF present in the destination IMS network. Then IBCF present in the destination IMS network will further forward this message to the CSCF of the called party. Here is this picture from the IMS specification for more clarification. You can see how two IBC are present in two different IMS networks are integrated to facilitate interoperator voltage call. Note, voice call data will go from PDN gateway to transition gateway. Transition gateway will further send this data to transition gateway of destination IMS network. Voltage to CS domain. For calls originating in LT network and breaking out to the CS network, the originating SCSCF will recognize that the call termination is in the CS domain and will invoke a BGCF. If the breakout is to occur in the CS domain of the same network in which BGCF is located, BGCF will select a MGCF which will be responsible for the interworking with the CS network. If the breakout is to occur in the CS domain of some other network, BGCF will forward this session signaling to another BGCF in the selected network. Note, voice traffic is sent between Volta UE and the CS network via IMS Media Gateway. Volta UE is roaming in some other network. A roaming UE registers itself with the home IMS network for the IMS services. In order to do so, a roaming UE sends messages related to the IMS registration to the PCSCF located in the roaming network. This PCSCF forwards these SIP messages to the home IMS network via IBCF. The PCSCF present in the visitor network interacts with the SCSCF and the application server in the home IMS network for the provision of voltage services for a roaming UE. In other words, visitor network interacts with the home network only for subscription related data of a user. Let's now talk about the data part. As voice call data is delay sensitive, so there is no point in involving home network in the data path for voice. So, voice traffic is directly routed to the destination networks and peer nodes from the visited network without involving home network. That is all for today guys. In my next video, we will do log analysis for a voltage call. I hope today's video would have refined your concepts related to the voltage call. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks guys. See you next time. Bye bye.